Hey everyone, Penum here again, and today, well, we are having yet another Pokemon video. And I know that this is not a Pokemon channel, but we do have one of these once in a while, and they are very enjoyable, if I do say so myself, because it's purely for the fun of it, and it's purely just to collect it. We don't have much of a playing uh, style or anything for Pokemon, so we only admire the artwork and admire the foil on the cards and stuff. But, let's get to the actual opening. As you guys can probably notice, some of the stuff in the background is not here. Why? Because today we are opening something that will fill it up. We are opening the Dragon Majesty Supreme Collection box, or the Supreme Premium Collection box. So this is a very awesome thing. We've opened one of the Premium Collection box uh, a while back, and that is also how we got our, I believe, OO, and this actual mat right here came from that. And uh, this time around, we have the Dragon Majesty one. So uh, the camera can obviously not fit the whole box in the frame. Uh, I will just open it quickly with my trusty scissors, and uh, we'll review it piece by piece afterwards. There we go. So obviously these come with two very beautiful um, promo uh, rainbow rares, or however you call those foils. And uh, it comes with a mini figure, which is also a very nice thing to get. I do love those mini figures, uh, because they pretty much are pretty cool to use in the background, obviously. Uh, yeah, this is very big. Say hi to Dragonite, guys. Uh, so yeah, trying to open this without breaking anything. There we go. So the first one was a uh, Pokeball artwork on top, and this one is a Great Ball artwork on top. So we'll just put the stuff to the side. I think I'm actually destroying my background and stuff. We have a playmat. You guys probably can't see anything except the box at this point. There is a little booklet. Uh, we'll see everything in details very soon. Actually, just taking out the cardboard, which is, let's be honest, useless at this point. Because it's just to make the box look bigger than it actually is. So we have a Salamence black and gray. Not silver, but well, maybe silver-ish, but it's more gray than anything. Uh, this is a box to put some stuff in it. Obviously, we'll put this in the back over here, I guess. Maybe we'll put this a little more to the side so we can see Salamence a bit more. Salamence from the good old days of Emerald. We have this. Is that like Necrozma? Or... No, I, I really do not know the names of the newer cards or the newer Pokemons in general. But here it goes. And we have the good old Dragonite from the original series. Loving it. So we have more boxes to put stuff in. Uh, honestly, I'll just take out this one. I prefer Dragonite because, you know, I'm an old school guy. Loving the old school Pokemon. Let's move the camera just a tad to the left. There we go. So we have this box, which I will put away for now. But we also get this beautiful Dragon's Then and Now booklet. And uh, honestly, it looks, it looks pretty cool. Let's take a quick, quick look to review it. We have new looking dragons, and we have the old looking dragons. Oh, I love this. I remember playing this and that. This I never actually did get back in the days. We have, oh, some old looking cards, which are actually very old. I did remember, I do remember getting this one at some point back in the days, and uh, some newer versions of them. Very nice. I think this is something we could get in here. Can we? No, I don't think so anymore, but yeah, you know. We have Raikouza EX, very cool. Love that card. Love Raikouza in general. Oh, we have uh, someone who uh, created stuff for Pokemon over here. It's like a, a little biography or something. We have History of Lance, which is the uh, Elite Four character who played or battled using dragons. We have Dragonite over the years. Oh, this is nice. I do remember putting this, this, and I did pull this but traded it away, and this I sold away back in the days. This I still own right now. It's actually in my collection. Actually, I'll show you guys just quickly 
uh, how he looked. So here we are guys, uh, this is just like one of those uh, little collection cabinets. I rarely go into details with you guys uh, about what I do have in my display, but here it is. The Dragonite in the picture. Looking good, it's still very good condition and the foil is just awesome with those little stars on it. So let's get back to the opening. Back to the opening guys, so uh, yeah. Beautiful car right here, still own it, still loving it. We have some more Dragonite cards. I remember seeing this in a in a set lately. I don't know. I I know we've never pulled it, but oh, this is the promo included in this box, and this is probably uh, where it came from or something. Some more artwork, some details on some other GXs we might find in here, I guess. And uh, Charizard, obviously not a dragon, but still very lovable and loved, beloved, beloved by everyone. Oh, it's Reshiram. That's the card's name. That's the Pokemon's name on the other box that we uh, we put away. It was not Necrozma. And we have some uh, 3D artwork with those little lines and everything. And that's about it for this little booklet. But it looks cool. It looks cool. Now onwards to the mat. Uh, we're not going to switch mats this time around in the video. But we'll still take a good look at it. Obviously not changing the mat because Rayquaza is my favorite Pokemon and I will not take it away from, you know, the screen. But we do have all sorts of very awesome Dragon Pokemon right here. Loving this, Alteria and Charizard who obviously has still not been considered anything more than a fire and flying Pokemon. But, you know, he's a dragon, obviously. And uh, you gotta love him. So I like that the old school ones are in front. And uh, Salamence too, but Altaria and Kingdra are in the back, which is kind of sad, but they, they do look majestic in the back too. So this mat looks lovely, and honestly, might, might have to change the mat eventually in some future vids, but for today, we're not going to go through the hassle of it. Still, a very good looking mat that I would love playing with uh, if I did play the game at all. And here we go with the cards, the boosters, and the beautiful minifigure. So let's open this deliquit. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, how do I get these out? Are they in like... Nope. Nope. Okay, I guess it's from the inside. Yep, it's from the inside. Okay. Oh, they actually put it easily removable. Nice. Very good stuff in there right there. How do we get these out though? We just put them upside down. Oh, it works. Hey, Pokemon is doing good. So we have our beautiful rainbow stuff. Love the details on it. Love the actual, you know, fact that we can touch it and feel some difference from normal cards. This is just great work from Pokemon working on these kinds of rarities in general. Loving this. Would have loved pulling a Rayquaza in that form, but... We have not been lucky enough yet. We do have a beautiful Dragonite GX, which looks gorgeous. Oh, this is beautiful. I always loved Dragonite because I always played it in the Pokemon uh, video games back in the days. Uh, playing the card was awesome. And, uh, you know, it's just such a lovable, friendly, giant dragon thing. Which is not that tall. It's just that one Pokemon episode where he was way too big. We have Dragonite coming at us in a very high speed chase. Zoom. And uh, he looks gorgeous. I, I like how the little antennas on his head are actually going backwards because of the speed. Like that's good detail on a Pokemon minifigure. Uh, honestly, well done. Uh, I don't think I like the way it stands as much as I did for the OO one. But they're in the same quality range, and uh, you know, OO is a legendary, so obviously it's going to be presenting itself. This guy is just going to stand like this, you know, it doesn't have as much of a presence to it, but it looks good. We'll put it in the background, you know, it deserves to be in the background of this vid. It is, after all, a Dragon Majesty vid, and we have which did not look that much, but we do have about 10 packs. And that's going to be about the rest of this video. Except for, you know, the code card for the uh, actual box. 
But we do have 10 packs of 10 cards each, and you guys will get all the codes because I do not use those codes. Oh, I actually forgot there's this too. We have all the separators or the dividers for the three uh, storage boxes. So we have Dragonite, looking good. Salamence, looking dashing. And we have, uh, I already forgot the name. It's Reshram, right? Yeah, it's Reshram. So we have all these little separators or dividers or whatever you call them. Put them at the top of the boxes. Let's put this away. We have the one code card for you guys for the whole box. So basically you get two promos and I believe that's about it for the online collection. Uh, and here we go. Enjoy it, guys. I do not intend on, uh, to use it, you know? So if you guys can enjoy this, do enjoy it. Uh, we will be using our Rikosa sleeves for this opening. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll pull something good. I have no clue what's in this set at all. I haven't watched any uh, PokeTubers, I guess you call them, uh, open any of these. So I have little to no idea what I will find here. Obviously, we'll find some dragons. Duh. And I think someone mentioned somewhere that there's that one gold card or something like that. I don't know if that's just a rumor or whatever, but I think there's some chance. Like It's like winning the lottery at that point. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get lucky. So, uh, we have three Charizards, three Salamands, two of the each other. Uh, let's start with the Branch Rams, because I have fewer feelings towards this one in particular. Come on, we got, th we got this. We got Kangaskhan. Oh, is that an old artwork that they've brought back for, brought back for this set? We have the code card for you guys. Uh, I have no clue. I've never opened these, so probably three to the front as usual, and maybe there's an energy? There is an energy. Okay, that's good. I don't even know if there's a foil guaranteed per pack, so let's learn. Darmanitan. Look cool, I guess. That's pretty interesting. We have Cedra. Combuskin. Nice. Kangaskhan, as we've seen before. Litten. Horsey. Torchic. Whooper. The reverse foil, Zinnia. I have no clue if that is a good reverse foil or not. Um, you can play this card only if one of your Pokemon was knocked out. Uh, attach up to two basic energy from uh, from your hand to one of your Dragon Pokemon. Okay, well that's neat. And we have, oh we have a foil, Blaine's Last Stand. Uh, we'll put all the um, reverses over there. We have Blaine's Last Stand. It's a rare, oh there's only 70 cards in the set. Oh, right, it's a small set. It's like one of those uh, guaranteed foil per pack set, I guess. Still, this looks cool. This looks cool. Very nice. We have Blaine, which is an original character of the game. Uh, from, you know, red, blue, green. Whichever version you played. Green and red, if you were uh, in the OCG, I guess. If you were in the... Uh, Japanese area and stuff and uh, blue if you were in the uh, Well blue and red if you were over here until Leaf green and fire red came out which we got the green version back then we have the psychic energy Fione which is I believe the alter ego to Manafi. Uh, is that the name of the little blue thing? I think so We have dragon air looking beautiful as usual We have Combuskin Magikarp looking awesome. <laughs> Kangaskhan again. Litten again. Horsey again. Darumaka. Oh, it's based on Darumas? Oh, whatever. We have Darumaka, which makes the other one we've pulled earlier. We have Slazzle. Uh, I think that's the lizard thing. Cool. I guess it's cool. And we've got Altaria as our foil. So, no big foils yet, but, you know, double rainbow all the way across the sky, man. Looking good. Looking good. For those of you guys out there who are uh, a little younger or not really, uh, you know, into uh, American memes and stuff like that, double rainbow uh, across the sky was actually a very, very weird, fun uh, little vine before vines actually existed or anything. So, uh, you know, giving you guys a little culture if you guys did not know about that or you guys might be going down a good or a bad memory lane because of that little quote <laughs> sorry about that guys we have more codes for you 
We have three guards to the front and one energy, the darkness energy. You have Combuskin. Oh, I think we've got a uh, a very decent card in the back. We have Heatmore, Crocknaw, Kangaskhan, Horsey, Corsola, Darumaka, Feebas, pretty cool, and Victini as our uh, Prism rare card. And we have Komo-O, which evolves from Akamo-O. I have no clue what this is, but it's a dragon. And it looks very powerful. I've never seen this before. Where is it even from? Jeez, I have never heard from the uh, for, about this little thing. It looks cool as hell, though. Wow, actually makes me want to play the game and learn where he's from. You know what generation stuff? Is he from generation five, six, seven? I don't think it's from eight because eight hasn't really done much yet. I don't even think it's out yet. But damn, that looks cool. It looked cool, guys. We have another code for you guys. Boom, enjoy. We have three to the front and metal energy. Let's see something more than just a regular foil. We did get a prism, but prisms aren't that insane anymore. Oh, we have another prism. Jeez, okay. Crocknaw, Seedra, Heatmore, Whoopa, Horsey, Trapinch. Swablu, so we can get our uh, Altaria out. We have Salandit to help us get that Salazzle out. And we have Lance as a prism. Nice. So that wasn't the actual booklet. Hey, we've pulled something interesting as a prism. Very nice. You can play this card only... Uh, oh, yeah. Well, we've read the effect already. But, you know, pretty cool. And we have Charizard. Oh, this is a great pack. Very old school stuff. Nice. Fiery Blast! Discard an energy from this Pokemon. This Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon for each of their Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX in play. Okay, well that's pretty mean. Gee, that's good. We've pulled some very cool stuff. Let's move these beautiful foils a little further to the right. To leave some space for Lance and Charizard. Wow. So even though we didn't pull any... Uh, Especially awesome foils. We did get Charizard, and that is a fan favorite to yours truly and to many other people who grew up playing Pokemon. Little code for you guys. One, two, three, to the front. Energy. And let's get to the cards. Fiery Flint. Uh, so this searches for up to four fire energy cards. I guess there are a lot of fire dragons. Duh. We have Dragon Talon. Okay, well, I guess you put some damage counters, which is cool. Combuskin, Feebas, Wishy Washy. How is that even related to dragons? Does this evolve into a dragon just like, like, I guess? No, not even. I, I don't know. We have Vibrava, Magikarp. Oh, we have Jang Mo O. So this evolves into something that evolves into the other thing we've pulled earlier that was very awesome looking. We have, ooh, we have a reverse energy. Nice. I love the reverse energies, and I believe a lot of people love them because these never do go out of rotation, and they look beautiful in a deck. And we have Komo'o again. So we have two of the cards. We are missing the middle link, just like for the Slazzle and uh, Salandit thing. Well, we have our first double out of 10 packs for our foils. Kind of disappointing, but we'll take it. We shall take it. Let's go with uh, one Charizard. Now, we'll do the whole Charizard thing and we'll keep the Dragonite for the end because, you know, this is a Dragonite box after all. Let's keep it for the end. There we go. We got another Swablu and this is different artwork, actually. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool that we get different artworks of uh, very fun Pokemon and not just some boring ones. We have another Energy. As tradition goes. Charmeleon. Nice artwork right here. We have Zinnia. The regular card. We have Lapras. Looking nice. Swablu. Feebas. Darumaka. Akamo'o. So we get the actual uh, evolution line for that card. That's pretty cool. We have Dratini. Looking nice. We have a reverse energy yet again. Which is pretty cool honestly. And we have Charizard. Oh wow. We've pulled... 
doubles again. And we have a good energy though, at least there's that. But doubles again. At least it's at least it's Charizard. But damn, that's a little disappointing. Where are the good foils at? We pulled two prisms. I don't even know if they're worth anything, but we, we don't really care about worth. Uh you know, but it's just like it's fun reviewing something that's out of the ordinary, but if we pull only regular foils out of ten packs of an all Packs have one foil guaranteed set. Where's the fun in that? Come on, give us at least one good foil. Somewhere. We have Salazzle as a non-foil card. We have Quagsire, Heatmore, Swablu, Salandit, Charmander with that beautiful leaf protecting his tail. We have Wishy Washy, Totodile, we have Litten as a reverse, and we have on the end Gyarados as our foil. So at least this is a brand new foil. We haven't pulled this one before. And we've pulled Magikarps. This is a weird way of picturing it. But it looks cool. It looks cool. Nice. I like it. I like it. Old school Pokemons. You gotta love those. Three packs left. Hopefully we'll get something good. You know, I'm, I'm already satisfied with the mat. And with the little figure. And, uh. You know, the boxes and stuff. But it would be nice to get more, you know. We have a code for you guys. One, two, three, to the front. One energy for you guys to, you know, figure. We have Shelgon. Jerampa. I think this is a legendary, actually. We have Tortonator. Which is a basic with 110 HP. Wow. Must be a very strong one. We have Corsola, Swablu, Charmenda, Hakamo'o, Whooper. We have Komo'o again. Jeez, three of them. And we have Blaze again. At least we've got a new foil at the end. At least that. Blaze again right here. This, I believe, is an old artwork from the uh, Emerald era. I believe so. Looking good, though. Looking very good. But where are the good foils? We haven't pulled anything more than, you know, regular foils. Where are the GXs? Where are the EXs if there are any? Uh, where are the full arts or, you know, rainbows or whatever? Are there even any of those in this set? There should be. There, there literally should be. Where are they? I'm actually getting a little scared that we're not going to pull anything. We only have two packs left and it's the Dragonite packs. We have another code for you guys. One, two, three, to the front. One energy. Oh, fairy energy in a dragon set. Must be a sign, guys. We have Dragon Air, Dragon Talon, Turtinator, Akamao, Wishy Washy, Charmander, Bagon, Swablu. Oh, we have a darkness energy as a reverse. Okay, that looks beautiful. And we have Zekrom. Okay, well, it's a new foil. It's. A legendary and it's a new foil that's something but we're down to last pack and we haven't pulled anything more than uh, than regular rares foils we've pulled two prisons but those basically just take away the reverse come on come on Pokemon TCG give us something we need something out of this final pack come on oh wait what huh no! Wait, no. That does not mean that we're not getting anything. That does not mean anything. One, two, three, to the front. The energy is a lightning. There we go. Switch Raft. Okay. Shelgon. Fione. Salandit. Litten. Duratini. Duram uh, Darumaka. Horsey. Oh, we've got another prism. Lance, yet again, shows up. And I believe we've got nothing on the end. Jeez, that's a little disappointing yet. Yep, yet again. Oh, we've got Farley Gator. Okay, well, it's a new one. That's something. But nothing. We've pulled nothing out of 10 packs. How is that even possible? Like, how bad must your odds be to get nothing out of 10 packs? This was an expensive little box, guys. This was an actual, ex uh, actual expensive little box. We did get some beautiful promos, a beautiful mat, 
a pretty decent looking figure, but I am somewhat disappointed disappointed in the 10 packs. We have three, three beautiful reverse foil uh, energies, and we have like Komo'o and these three others. Zinnia might be worth a buck, I guess. I'm not sure, but I would say that the energies are the best reverses we've pulled because they are timeless. We have our foils, and uh, out of 10 packs, let's be honest, getting two Charizards and two Komo'o's, not too cool. Not too cool. But we did get quite a lot of good stuff. I mean, we get we got Blaine, we got Alteria, Gyarados, Bla Blaziken, Feralgator. We did get Charizard, though, twice. Uh, I can't complain about those, but, you know, would have been fun to get something more than just regular foils. And uh, we did get three prisms. One is a double, and the other is Victini. I don't know much about the game, so I don't even know if they're worth playing or anything, but we did get them, and uh, they look good. Lance looks beautifully done. And we do have our two promos, which at least look gorgeous. Like, the, these, you can't take away from them. They are beautiful cards. They are glamorous, and they are shiny. But still, you know, not getting anything more than a regular foil is somewhat disappointing. If there was a full list or something in here, that would have been a good help to, you know, know what was available and if we got any chances of getting more than regular foils. I should have done some research, I guess, but, you know, whatever. It was still enjoyable to some extent. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please mention it in the comment section down below. It would be nice to know if uh, you guys want to see some more of this set in particular, or, you know, more of the Pokemon stuff in general, because I don't do many of those, but they are very enjoyable nonetheless. And uh, so, yeah, until next time, guys, it's been a pleasure, and Panem out.